Hello, my name is Malika Miner, and I'm the Northwest Regional Manager for CoreFact. What you're about to see is a recording of a webinar that highlights what the CoreFact lead capture system is, how it works, and how it can benefit you in generating more listing leads. We also offer live webinar training and demos daily. Check our website for dates and times. Enjoy the webinar. Full service print and direct mail marketing company who provides their clients the ability to print unique data on each and every postcard that goes out while integrating their targeted postcards with their online presence. Now, the biggest perk to our technology is that we can finally provide you trackable and measurable results so that you can prioritize your prospecting list and put your energy and your effort into areas that are actually going to turn a profit for you. I'll show you how to today. When we think of direct mail, you guys are probably thinking, you know, stamp blanking, frustration, no measurement, you know, a lot of time spent and with little to show for it. But direct mail is the easiest way for us to gain access to targeted areas without having prior permissions in place and, of course, being able to do so at a low cost. Corefax will meet you there when it comes to your low cost because we do not require a contract to use our services. Instead, our price model is based strictly on the size of the template you're looking for, the quantity that you need, and how fast you'd like your items to be delivered. Everything we cover today is included in that price. So let me show you what our gimmick is, because of course we have one that's setting us apart from the rest. We offer variable data printing, which means that no two cards are going to look the same. They're going to be personalized to the recipient. We combine this with an effective call to action that will drive that recipient to your website so that you can finally get a measured response. Let me show you a couple examples of this. So the card on your screen is probably one of the best examples. Anywhere you see brackets, these are areas that we're going to pull the information in from the mailing list attached to your order. Now, your mail list can be your sphere of influence. It can be a list that you received from your title executive. It can be a list that you've built out with a third-party vendor like Rebo Gateway, for example, where it's that demographic-specific list and you got the handful of people that are in the perfect position to sell. You can use those lists as well. We're just looking for a specific format. Well, from that list, we'll pull in their name, we'll pull in their address, and it's going to be embossed onto the card like it was part of your makeup for the card to begin with. So that's going to capture their attention right off the bat. Their eyes will also gravitate to the map that's present. The green home will be their home. The orange sold signs will be strategically placed and actually represent sold properties within a one-mile radius of, her, of their home. And this will be a Google map of the neighborhood. So they're going to recognize the street names, recognize the layout, and know that you've tailored it for them. It doesn't matter if you have 50 names on your list or 10,000. We're going to update it for each and every individual each and every time. Then they see the call to action. Get your free home estimate instantly. It's not the typical call me now or email me now, which, you know, of course has a huge fallout because if they're not ready, they're not going to call you. That's intimidating. So instead, you might lose an opportunity because the card or whatever you sent them was three months too soon. Well, now we're giving them something of value that they need throughout the process to see what's happening in the community. They can access this information by either going to our landing page, which is realestatehomeprice.com, or it's here that you can direct them to your personal website or domain of choice. The time factor so that you know who's doing what and when is the key code that CoreFact is going to assign each individual on your mailing list. So it's not a key code to the postcard, it's a key, it's a unique identifier for that prospect. This process is automatically done as soon as your mailing list is added to our system. So there's no additional step for you. When it comes to your mailing list, let me just show you what we're looking for. So when you're signed into corefact.com, you're going to have a full task bar the way that you see here. When you're not signed in, all you see is the store option and the learn more option. 
When it comes to your mailing list, all of them are added to your contacts database. You can either add them yourself or you can email them to customer service at Corfac and we'll upload them for you. So if you're Excel sheet experts, they're awesome when it comes to any formatting issues that you may have, they can help get that taken care of at no additional cost. When it comes to your mailing list, you can upload the list directly by clicking Upload List and it will show you the format that we're looking for. We can take your mailing list in either an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV spreadsheet. The headers are the same on both options. When it comes to the headers, they're very straightforward. Let me just show you what they look like real quick. And I'll zoom in so that we can all see it because I can barely see that. So one sec. There we go. So first and last name, pretty straightforward. If you have joint ownership, you can go ahead and merge the fields into a full name column. Um, and it's okay if they have different last names. We just want to make sure that information is in the right place. The site address, this is the address that receives the home estimate. So if you're targeting an absentee owner, this is their investment property address. The mailing address is where we send the physical postcard. Again, if it's an absentee owner, this is where um, this is where the physical card will go to. So it will go to the owner. If you have property details, we only need the bedroom bathroom count, square footage, lot square footage, and please convert it to square footage, otherwise it won't pick it up, and the property type. The property types our system can provide home estimates for are single family residents, condos and townhomes. It will not work for multi-unit dwellings or commercial properties. You'll see why in just a moment. I'm going to show you guys that information. But that's the mail list in a nutshell so that you know how to get it in there. Once it's in that format, you can upload it, find it on their computer, upload it directly. If you have any trouble, again, customer service is your surefire way to make sure it's done properly. Your other alternative, um, I'll show you shortly, outside of uploading it directly, you can upload your list directly to the order and quality assurance, once you complete your order and pay for it, will map it and make sure everything is going to the right place. So at least you have some options if you, um, you know, if you get stuck or if you get busy and run out of time. So let me show you a couple other options when it comes to the cards and um, that variable data printing that's really personalized to the recipient. So you saw one of them where it's just pulling in their name and address. I'm going to go to the Have Buyers Low Inventory series. And in here, these are also cards that have that feature where it's personalized. But in addition to pulling in their name and their address, it's also pulling in their property details. So this will have the bed bath count and the city name for each recipient as well. When it comes to choosing the back of the card, that's when you can still pull in the person's name and their address and still pull in that mapping feature. When it comes to picking and choosing cards, I also do not want you to feel that you're stuck with the design that's there. All cards are able to be completely customized not only through the tools that we provide you online so that you can brand it and really highlight yourself, but we also have in-house graphic artists that can update these items for you as well with a very quick turnaround, typically 24 to 48 hours for that first proof. The design charges are competitive. They start at a flat rate of $25, and they can be up to $99 per hour. The only time you need a designer involved, however, is if you're really looking to change the layout outside of what's available online. So, for example, let's say that you love this hot real estate market card and everything is great on it. However, you decide you want your photo and contact information to the left of the main area where you would add the picture. That would require you to change the layout of the template so a designer would be necessary versus you just updating it um, based on the layout that's there and building it out to your liking. So keep that in mind um, because you're never stuck in the box. And that's the main reason why these cards, you're not, you're not typically going to see one person receiving the exact same card from another person using Corfax. 
there will always be different. So let me show you. Um, let me just pull this up and give you back a little root of where we were at. But I'm going to show you what your clients access when they go to that landing page to get their home estimate. I remember they're directed there by you. It's what you print on the card, either using our landing page or your own website with that call to action there. So here is realestatehomeprice.com. This is a free landing page. We give it to you for your own usage as often or as seldom as you prefer. Um, it's non-branded. As you see, there's nowhere for your client to get deterred. It's only giving them an area to enter their key code so that they can be identified for yourself. Remember, that key code, it never changes, it cannot be duplicated, and it follows your prospect through every interaction with them entering it so that you're kept in the loop as to when they're getting new information, when they're updating information, and any changes. Your alternative is to direct the client to your personal website. If you do it that way, it just requires that you add our widget to your site so they have somewhere to put their key code in. Now, a widget for our non-techies is a bridge from one website or domain to another that requires a click of some sort to get to that next area. This is a widget where you see the image of the map. It has the header that says receive the card, and it gives them a little area to put in their key code. This is a mock-up website. Jessica Sellers is a model. She's not a realtor, but I want you to pay attention to the concept. If this was your own web page, you want your widget to appear close to the top of the page so that it's easily found, and you don't want it hidden behind any buttons or tabs. This way, you won't miss the opportunity, because of course, our websites are all, you know, built out. I'm sure you have tons of information there for any per party that comes to it. So this way, they don't miss that opportunity once they're logging on from their card. To build out your widget, when you're signed into courtback.com, just come to the button that says account. This is your setup button, you guys. The first place you go when you go to courtback.com, come here and select widget generator. The only time this is necessary, again, is if you're directing them to your own site or domain of choice. Maybe you build out a domain that's rollinghillshomevalues.com, right? They can go there, you can add your widget there, and it will give them somewhere to put their code in, so it will bring them into the tool. As you see, this tool will allow you to customize how this widget appears. You can change the header, you can change the message, you can change the size, and of course the coloring so it fits your own branding. The colors are down here. Um, and same with the box itself. When you're happy with the image, click Generate Snippet, and this will provide you the HTML code to copy and paste into the back end of the website or domain of your choice, and you're all done. You can use as many widgets in as many places as you like. I have a client who has 15 <laughs> because they've actually sold up 15 separate domains for his farming. So that's something that you can also do, and you're not going to have any hidden fees there. The only time a fee is involved when it comes to the widget is if you require Corfax to install it for you. And this is because one of our licensed engineers would have to do it. I couldn't do it, and you probably wouldn't want me to because I'm not a licensed engineer, and I shouldn't be messing around in the back end of anybody's website. So this is to your advantage. So let me go ahead and put in a test key code so you guys can see what the client will access once they get in there. This code will be separated by dashes. It's not sensitive. And again, your client will get this key code from whatever item you mail them that offers that tracking feature. So up top, they'll be welcomed. It'll say, hi, John, or hi, Mary, whoever got the postcard. Um, they'll be able to see a value range on their property. This is the electronic version of the map they would have received in hand except now it's interactive. So if they click any of the sold signs, they'll see the address that's sold, the amount it's sold for, and the property details for the location. The map will also give them the opportunity to walk through the neighborhood and see the front of this house that they're trying to view. They can easily just move that little Google man to the home that they're trying to see. There we go. Just click on it. Now they can walk through the neighborhood the same way they could do so if they were looking online, just on you know Google or what have you. 
I'm like trying to make it look like we're in front of the house. There we go. So that's an option. They also can scroll down and access a free computer-generated CMA that CoreFact is providing them. Now, we think about how long it takes to make a CMA for one person, right? 45 minutes, maybe an hour out of your day for one person. Well, let's hope and make sure that that person is truly interested if you're taking that much time to do so. Well, we're providing this free CMA for each and every person on your mailing list who logs into the tool. The top five that are selected are the closest and most recent applicable sales that are used to determine the value range that's provided. It is a range, it's not one flat estimate, we're not trying to set you up for debate. And our resource for this information is all public record. We only use one resource and that public record will only provide sold data. The parameters that they're using by default are a one mile radius around the recipient's home and nine months of sold data. Now, of course, that's not going to fit the mold for every market, but we also give you the flexibility of being able to update those parameters. Maybe you only want to show the last quarter of activity, or maybe a one mile radius is too far. Maybe you only want to show a half mile out. You can easily update this information through customer service. You also have the option to provide your own sold data, especially if you're targeting a luxury community where a lot of upgrades may have been present. I mean, it's awesome that within the CMA, they can pick and choose the homes they want to compare to, right? Because they're going to know if a lot of upgrades are there. And neighborhoods are different these days. We might have a four-bedroom house next door to a six-bedroom house. We might have a three bedroom next door to a six. I mean, it depends on what it is, but they get to pick and choose the homes they're comparing to, and it will directly affect the value range that's provided to them. So like, see if I take that out, see how it changed it. They can also update their property profile. So let's say that they wanna check for a different address or if they recently upgraded themselves and added a room. Let's take that to three bedrooms and we'll just add on 300 square feet, right? Actually, yeah. When you update this, it will directly affect the value range provided. See, it took us up a bit. And it also will show them now more homes to compare that are more close, that are closer to those results. So now we're looking at three bedrooms, two baths, instead of mainly two bedrooms, two baths as the top five that are closest. So it's, it's interactive, it's dynamic, it's going to give them a better idea as to where their home stands against the community. They can also update where they feel the market conditions lie and where they feel their property conditions lie, because you know they always say it's an excellent condition, I should just leave that at good, right? But they also can tell you more information as to what they're trying to do. So they can tell you, okay, if I'm trying to sell for this price, um, and tell you a time frame that they're wanting to do that with them. They can ask you to reach out directly. They can leave a phone number. They can leave their email address. If they do so or make any changes to that nature where you get contact information, you receive an instant email notification. So there's no lag time. If they don't leave you contact information, you'll receive a digest of all of your logins just at the close of the business day's work, which is at 6.30 p.m., no matter where your time zone is. So you'll get it all via email. The emails are free. We're not going to ask you for a password to open them or anything. Um, it's just going to be your way, your connection, before you log back into your CoreFact account to get further details. So um, they can also tell you if they feel the pricing is off which, you know, could happen, and normally if that happens, it's due to upgrades that aren't shown through the bed, bath, count, square footage, lot square footage, and the type of property that it is. Remember how I said we can only do this for single-family residents, condos, and townhomes? Well, it's because those parameters aren't going to cover commercial property, right, to at least give accuracy there. So it's to your advantage because we want to give an accurate value range. Again, we're not trying to set you up for debate. Also, the client can say if they want an agent assessment or an on-site assessment. 
Agent assessment is, hey, call me. I'm going to talk about this estimate value range. On-site assessment, hey, can you come over here and tell me what you think I can sell my house for? They can easily tell you the date they're looking to do it, best time for you to reach them so that you can set it up. And this information all will come to you so that you have a better way of following up with them. Again, they can tell you if they'd like to sell or if they'd like to buy. And this information is required, right? So that you know, okay, well, this person was just looking versus, hey, this person's ready to go. I need to go and pop by over there or get them on the horn as soon as possible. So you don't miss an opportunity. The prospect can also sign up for a free monthly value alert. This core fact will provide, it's similar to the CMA at the bottom of the screen, and it still gives them a value range on their property. It generates 30 days after request date and every 30 days thereafter. You're CC'd on it. It's a soft way of obtaining their email address and phone number, and of course, keeping in contact with them. They can download this report so that they have something to take away from it. They've already gotten your postcard. They now have this excellent electronic version of it to keep them in loop with what's going on in the neighborhood. And now they can print it off. So they have it in color. And again, your contact information is there, right? So something else to remind them to come back to you versus the competition. And of course, they have the link that says contact me. Kind of redundant, but just giving another opportunity. We want them to have as many as possible so that you guys can connect. When it comes to this home estimate tool, you can customize it, their preferences, where you can force the client to leave their email address or phone number. You can add additional links or videos that you might want visible underneath your contact information. You can even add additional disclaimers as necessary or have additional icons for, you know, federally insured and realtor association and what have you, that information can all be visible. And to make those changes, it's all done through this account button where it says home estimate preferences. So this will um, even allow you to update that welcoming message when they come into the tool. So you have three options that are already pre-built in but you can also customize your own message. Maybe it's not really sellers that you're targeting. Maybe you're targeting renters. You have a whole renters campaign set up. You can update that message within 180 characters to say what you wanted to say when they come into the tool. So again, there's a lot of flexibility. If you have questions with the sold data provided or if you want to provide your own or update it appropriately, if they call the customer service, they can easily make the changes for you so that you can check it in real time. So let's log into your leads database because this is where each and every person is going to be generated once they've logged into the tool. And remember, you're going to get a response rate as soon as they enter a key code. So it doesn't matter if they leave you their email address or their phone number, you know who's responding in that area as soon as a code is put in to either your website or our landing page. Great question, by the way. So here's the leads database. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. This is showing you each and every respondent. It's also showing you a star ranking as to how engaged they were using the tool. Now, when I say engagement, I mean that they spend a lot of time there, that they log on and log off and return to the tool itself, that they update information, that they take set up monthly value alerts, leave contact information, et cetera. That will rank them from a half star to five stars. The higher the ranking, the quicker you need to get in touch with them, right? Um, a half star doesn't mean that you ignore it. At minimum, I say send out a personal note card within 48 hours of them logging on. Because remember, you're seeing these logons in real time. They log on today, you get the email today. So that you want to acknowledge that they took the time to use the tool and just keep that personalization flowing through the entire interaction. If you click on any of the names, you now will be able to see the farm that they're part of, any additional contact information they may have left you, property details, the way you entered them on the original mailing list so that you can compare, because if they updated the information, it'll show you what it was updated to. You have an area to log in as your client, so you know exactly what home estimate they received and the homes they compared. 
You also will see timestamps as to what they did, details as to what they did. If commentary was left, it'll show in this area as well. But you're also going to see if they logged in using our landing page at realestatehomeprice.com or your personal website. The reason I'm pointing out all these little details is because these are talking points, right? So these talking points are necessary because, again, it's all about keeping that personalization flow. You want them to feel that you are actually genuinely interested in their interest, that you're catering to them, that it wasn't just that beautiful special card they got in the mail. You're there for them so that they choose you versus the competition. My favorite area, and this is going to be your favorite area too, I promise, is the contact groups area. Now, when it comes to direct mail, typically, you know, without this unique call to action and the tracking availability, you're looking at a half percentage, maybe 1% as a response rate. And of course, that can only be gauged on you finally get the person on the phone and they say they got your mailer. Not as ideal, right? Well, CoreFact carries an average response rate of 2 to 4% on a first-time mailer. And that's not first-time mailer 10,000 cards sent out. That's based on 330 postcards, you guys. It's crazy. And when you think about this, if you're being consistent, you know, there's that one-time mailer, but if you're mailing month to month, now you're dealing with cumulative numbers. I mean, 2 to 4%, that can be three to four additional listings for you each year. I mean, let me tell you a story. There's this guy, and this wasn't really my story. This happened to my director. And he found out about us through the grapevine. He was really excited, but of course he was skeptical. So he says, well, what, what response rate am I going to get? She says, you know, 2 to 4%, that's the average that we can stand by. Um, but, of course, it's we can't guarantee it, right? And it depends on how long you've been going into the area. And she tried to give this bill. He said, okay, no, no, no. How much am I going to get? Um, this is the size of my mailer. Um, and it was like probably like 1,000 cards, 950 cards. And she says, okay, well, with your consistency, you keep mailing. It's like, let's stick with that. You're going to get at least 30 respondents. He says, okay. He's like, I'm going to hold you to it. And so she says, well, wait a minute. Well, again, I can't guarantee you. Well, yeah, but I'm taking your word. So she's like, all right, you know, let's check on it after you get your mailers out. So the mailers go out. He calls <laughs> about a week after everybody got it. And actually, it wasn't even a full week. It was like three days after he got the ping that all the mail was delivered. So he says, hey, you know, I'm not happy. I only have one respondent. And so she says, well, you know, it's only been three days. Sometimes people hold on to the mail. Let's check again next week. And so he says, okay, I'll check with the next week, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to be very upset if I don't make sure I get at least my 30 respondents. She's like, I understand. I'm going to check on it. So then he calls back four days later. He's like, hey, you know, I only got 15 respondents. I haven't gotten my full 30 yet. It's like, um, you know, if I can't get everything, I want my money back. So she says, okay, well, let's see who's responding. Have you followed up with any of them yet? And he's like, no, I'm waiting to get my full bank. She's like, well, don't miss your opportunity because it looks like when I went in there and looked in your lead database, you had a couple four stars in there. So you want to, you know, touch bases with them. He says, I will, I will, don't worry about it. So then two days later, he calls back and he says, hey, you know, I got 27 respondents. And we're like, okay, awesome. Right. So I'm glad you have the 27. He's happy. He's satisfied. He's like, okay, well, I didn't get that full 30, but, you know, at least I was able to get that. And now it's going to keep me busy. I can follow up with them. So she reminded him, you know, don't forget to send another mailer. He was pleased. He's still our customer and keeps coming back. So the reason why I'm kind of saying this story is because this is the key, probably the key that you're all going to deal with. So you might see where they start responding immediately. Sometimes it takes time. But when it comes to marketing in general, you want to make sure you're consistent. You want to make sure that this isn't the only way that you're marketing yourself. And you want to remember that in typical standards for marketing, you're supposed to be in front of your audience five to eight times. 
before they're really absorbing you, right? So plan that when it comes to your mailers. You know, you're doing your mailers, you're hosting your open houses, you have your new listings, you have your sales, you're active in the community. But if you have something that's always there, always rolling, where they're seeing your face, seeing your branding, they're going to choose you versus the competition. I mean, even when you think about it, when you see things on your own table, when you come home, it's like, oh, you know, I'll get to that. I'm going to check all that stuff when I have time on the weekend. So, you know, instant changes don't always happen, but the changes do, and they will see what you're doing, and you are set apart differently from the competition. So back to this contact groups area. This is showing you each and every mailing list that you've sent cards to with the response rate for it. So this is not only showing you the high response rate areas, but it's also showing you the areas that aren't showing a response. I mean, this is awesome. You have 67 visitors. I hope those become 67 new listings for you. That will be due to your efforts. Remember, we're showing you who's responding, but you're the one who's going to get them to the table. But if you have a place like Cupertino and you've just sent out 550 cards each month for the last four months and we only have two visitors, well, that's a red flag, right? This could be anything. Maybe the competition's too saturated in the area. Maybe the demographic isn't working as you thought it would. I mean, I've heard of people putting in the equation and, you know, they're thinking, oh yeah, everyone here is going to sell. Come to find out that area hasn't had a sell in the last 15 years. So, I mean, it can, it can be anything, but at least now you know so that you can decide if you want to move on to another area to target. And you have that flexibility because remember, there are no contracts required. Pick and choose as you want, move around as you want. So, let me show you um, of course, our turnaround times, the pricing that you can look at. Um, our price model, again, is based on the size of the template, quantity that you need, and how fast you want your items to be delivered. So um, when you're looking in our catalog, it's all categorized by the type of product, the size of product, and the topics that are pre-built within that product. And remember, you can always update the content on the cards. If you want to just, you know, finagle the wording, things of that nature, you totally can. That's always acceptable and available to do. Um, and outside of postcards, we also do newsletters, flyers, and brochures. We're still a direct mail printer, you guys. So if it needs to be printed, we can make it happen. So let me go ahead and I'll just go where you can see some of the pricing on the jumbo postcards. So this is the industry standard eight and a half by five and a half size. And you have three delivery options. So standard mail and first class mail delivery, that means that we're delivering to each and every person on your mailing list, by the way. And print only means that we're mailing the order directly to you. So now you can take advantage of any discount you may have with the post office, or you can, um, or if you're not doing that, you can hand them out, you know, whatever works for your budget. So standard mail, those are received bulk mail. So those cards will be received in hand within five to 15 business days. Of course, it's different for every area. We mail from San Jose, California. So if you need a better estimate, just based for the location you're targeting, give a call to customer service. They can check for the zip code for you. First class mail delivery, this is priority mail. It's also 21 cents more per item. That's why you're seeing the difference in price there. Those are received everyone in hand within two to five business days after it arrives at the post office. Print only, again, it's our most frugal option. These are 22 cents less per item than standard mail. I'm sure a lot of your eyes gravitated there first. This is because no postage is included. Remember, you can hand those out or take advantage of a discount you may already have in place with the post office. So we mail those to you. Um, they come to you via FedEx. Um, if you, oh, I guess and one thing to note, that's the amount we pay in postage, you guys, 22 cents. So everything that we covered today, it comes within this price range. So you're really getting all of these features, um, this easy tools and the follow-ups for your prospects for next to nothing. So keep that in mind as well. So um, at this point, we're pretty much at the close of the presentation. So I'm going to just run through an order so I can show you how easy it is to customize the cards. If you guys have any additional questions, you're welcome to type them in. If you don't, 
is okay. I will send each of you a follow-up email that includes a 10% off promotional code just for joining me this morning. Um, it also will include um, an overview of what we covered, um, your mail list format requirements, the sole data format requirement in case you want to provide your own. Um, and I think I'll put a link in there for the pricing guide so you have it in case you want to compare to other vendors out there. But I do thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. And I look forward to working with you if you do choose Corefact as your direct mail vendor. Thanks for your time. So let me go ahead and grab a just listed. We can do just listed, just sold. What you guys are going to see when I work on this is that you can always change the header on the card. When it comes to making sure you have tracking available, make sure there's a key code present on that card. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a map present, but if a key code is present on it, that means tracking is available for yourself. I'm just going to choose one that I like. Let's see here. Scrolling down, I'm going to take this one. And the just listed 16 with these three photos, this is actually a high selling card. And it's because a lot of the time people will make their logo much larger on this card so that the branding appears very um, prominently. Now here at top, you wanna to name the order. I say name it after the area that you're targeting. That way it's easy to catch up with it if you're um, trying to see where you sent those cards or where you were adding your campaign, right? So I'll put Almaden Golf Course. It's a golf course down in San Jose, California. Choose a back that you can keep using over and over and over again. So I say one that has a decent call to action on it, one that has a header, one that can have your contact information easily visible, things of that nature. So I'll go with this one. Pretty simple, and I have room to have a message to the community. You know, maybe I'm working with the Make-A-Wish Foundation for the next six months. It could be anything. So click continue after you select the back of your choice, and this will take you into the design phase of your order. Now, one thing is that our company has been renowned for the user-friendly, customizable tools that we have when it comes to working on these cards. These are very easy to use, so I'm going to show you real quick. Notice you have four delivery options, Design, not four delivery options, four phases, sorry. Design, delivery, approve, and payment. And we walk you through it so it's not a guessing game. Your order number is easy. It's always large so that you can find it. In case you ever have a problem, you can just send that via email to customer service with the problem so they can address it or call them and have it readily available. They can also look you up by your name. You're able to update your color scheme on these cards. So when you're seeing these color blocks of formal black, you can change this to a color that's closer to your own brokerage. So keep that in mind as well. When you're working on the card, you're always seeing a live preview. If you hover over the card and click on it, it shows you in the, area, the areas that you can customize and where to make the changes on the left-hand side. See how it highlights when I click there? So it's pretty user friendly. When you go to attach your images, they're looking for JPEGs of your imagery and any photo or item that you upload into the system will remain there so that it's easily found if you need to um, change that just listed card to a just sold card, for example. So we um, try to keep it all in one place for you. What you see is what you get. Um, I have a question wondering, do I need a professional photographer? No, you do not. We're just looking for 300 DPI or better. Um, that can be achieved through a cell phone these days. Um, if you do want professional photos, you most certainly can use them. And MLS photos, you know, you can use them, but sometimes that's discouraged only because the MLS photos, those have been reduced to thumbnail size. So when you go to blow that up onto a eight and a half by five and a half postcard, it may appear grainy or choppy. And when you're trying to send a high quality card so that, you know, they're feeling that you're working for them on that new listing, I say get a better photo. You have a better chance of just snapping a picture. So I'm going to just throw in, hopefully this will fit. And notice we can crop and resize the photos too um, when you select it. So it's, Pretty simple, it's like this one doesn't fit very well, but just showing you guys how easy it is. See, crop and resize it if I want to. And 
Um, when it comes to headers, see how this says just listen? Like after that loads in there, then I'll be able to show you. I can change it to whatever I want it to say. So this could actually be an open house if I want it to be. And if you guys are working on a card and you don't like the font that's being used, or you want it to be bolder or larger, for example, just give a call to customer service. All of these areas are HTML coded, which helps because that means all they have to do is put a simple code in and they can update it to say or use the font of whatever you'd like. Make it larger, make it bolder, and help it stand out even more. All the more reason why it's very hard for the cards to be duplicated among our clients. And I'll just say newly renovated. Um, I'm going to set views. Whatever, you know, however you want to say there. So even like something like that, I would probably want that to be bolder so it stood out a bit more. And you're not forced to use the layout that we have. It's like for something like this where the logo appears there, if you want your logo larger, take it out of that area. Just remove it. And you can put it in one of the picture areas. I have a client who's big on doggies, and she includes her dog in everything. It's part of her signature brand. She even had a calendar made that she sent out to her sphere of influence, right? And it's because it's it's just dog lover community, right? That's it's their they're their own culture. Well, she makes sure that her little puppy is on everything, and I say puppy, even though at this point I think her dog is about 11 years old, but she would definitely have, she has like a specialized logo, her holding her puppy, and then it's like the logo of her um, company. It's really cute. But something like that, she'd have large up there just knowing herself. That's not her puppy, by the way, but someone else apparently uploaded it in there. So I am I'm just going to make the logo larger. And if for, for whatever reason, if you take out the information that, like, let's say you don't have um, a photo in an area where it says upload your photo, it will not print upload your photo. It's just going to let that background color shine through that area. So keep that in mind as well. When we go to page two, this is where typically your contact information will appear. They do have items that you can choose where the contact information is on the front as well. And of course, if you're wanting to customize it to that, that's just a call to customer service so that the design team can build it for you. Um, if you start with this account button, remember, foundation of your account, if you plug your headshots and your logos and your contact information into the personal information area, it will automatically populate onto any item that you work on so that you don't have to keep on uploading and retyping it each time. So it saves you a lot of time there as well. Um, see how we have those brackets here where it says, dear owner first above that paragraph, that's an area where we're pulling the information in from the mailing list attached. You can also update the message that it has printed. So here's where you can put in that plug that you're working with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and go from there. Now, the more information into these areas, the smaller the print will become. So if you're needing more room or if you want to take something out, um, again, if you take things out, it's still too small. Customer service can assist you with with updating the font that's being used. And there's no additional cost for that. Unless you're trying to, you know, let's say you want your coloring for where it says free home estimate to be pink or something, and that's not available through these tools, something like that the design team would have to do for you. Remember, you got to always say where they're going to get that home estimate. So it could be your website or it could be our landing page. You get to update that while you're working on the card itself. Yes, you can change your call to action, but get your free home estimate instantly. Has your home value gone up in the last six months? Those are the call to actions that are working. And my best advice I can give, keep it simple, you guys. When it comes to a call to action, one call to action on the front, one call to action on the back. If you're doing it just listed or just sold or show 
for your proof of production. Do that on one side of the card. Tell them to go to the site on the other side of the card. When it gets too busy, they toss your card, right? So keep it simple. It's like you don't, they don't need to know that you can give them 10% off or a quartz upgrade and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tell them that when you connect with them. Right now, we just want to see who's interested in making the change. Um, also, wait, forgot to tell you, when it comes to adding the recipient's contact information, we do not use labels. We emboss directly onto the card. So it is a high-end card that they receive. If you guys ever need samples, um, you're welcome to give a call to customer service or utilize your title executive. We have an alliance with the Fidelity National Title Company, like as a whole, as a parent company. And the majority of those executives have samples, like hard samples that you can hold, see in your hands, see them. I'm sure they'd be happy to bring it to you if you need it. So let me go ahead and hit continue. This takes us right into the delivery phase of the order. And so it's here um, where you'll see it takes us two business days to get your order to the post office. So if you're completing the order on a Wednesday, it will arrive at the post office Friday morning for the delivery that you choose. If it's a Monday, it'll arrive there Wednesday, et cetera. If you're setting up a campaign, you get to pick and choose all of your future dates, and you also get to set up all your cards at one time. That process is initiated through the campaign option. We also have marketing specialists who can set up your campaign for you, and you do not pay anything extra for that. Remember, you pay as you go. So when you're setting future dates, you pay um, typically two business days prior to date of distribution. Um, if you're doing just a single order and you're trying to do a future date, it's going to have you pay at the time that you complete your order. So um, if you're trying to push it out, set it up through a campaign. Again, customer service is your resource. You need assistance with that. Mailing list. This is where you get to put in how fast you want it delivered. Remember, standard mail and first-class mail means that we're mailing to each person on the list for you. Print only means we're mailing directly to you. You can add as many lists to an order as you need to by clicking existing lists. This will find any list that you've uploaded to the system. We understand that maybe you're farming, but you also want your sphere of influence to receive your cards as well, so that's totally okay. Or you might be targeting more than one area. That's okay as well. You can upload your list in this area with the import list option if you hadn't already uploaded it to your contacts database. You can also attach your file. Um, this way, if you don't have to upload it, you can just attach it to the order, let us know how many names are on it, and add it. At the time of payment, we will upload your list for you. It's probably the best way to do it if you haven't done it before, only because that way you can make sure it's done right, right? And if there are any problems, they will contact you and let you know or verify any fixes that may need to happen. So that's to your advantage as well. It does not add any cost to your order. You can also purchase a list from CoreFact. We give them to you at seven cents per contact, but it's yours forever. You only pay for it one time. You can provide a valid address. And we'll pull a one mile radius around that address and return the results that you're looking for. As you see, it's not as demographic specific, it's pretty basic, but hey, if you have a new listing, you're just trying to let the neighborhood know about it, there's an option. Seed Me on this mailing will allow you to add any additional name and address that's not currently included on the mailing list. Perfect way to add yourself, right, if you forgot to put your name on your list. If you, oh, I have a question wondering, how do I know items are delivered? If you have submitted an order and you need to verify this, give a call to customer service. We receive an IMB scan report from the post office with each and every order that is sent from our facility. This report is going to show you not only where it, where the order is in, in trends, um, I can't even speak, sorry. <laughs> um, while it's still you know, while it's out there, while it's in circulation, but it also is going to show you um, 
where who has received the items in hand, who hasn't, if something was undeliverable, et cetera. That is no cost for that report. We can send it to you at any time. Great question. As you hear, it's like I have a webinar um, in the next 10 minutes, so I'll be getting out of here soon, don't worry. And let's see here. So now I hit continue to see the approval stage of the order. So now this is showing us the front and back large. You can click on it to see the back. Make sure all your T's are crossed, all your I's are dotted. There is a watermark at this stage of the order, but that's because you can download your proof. So maybe you have to get it approved through your compliance department. Um, you can easily do so here. It shows you a summary as to what you've ordered so that you know which farms are attached, how many of the quantity is, the size of the card you chose, the delivery date to the post office, and then you agree to all terms. By the way, we will not print that watermark on the final product. Um, one of the terms you want to pay attention to, of course, is if a widget is not installed on your personal website, we'll default the printing to realestatehomeprice.com as the lead capture URL. This is to your advantage because you don't want to lose tracking because you forgot to add your widget to your site if you're directing them to your site on the card. That's the only time that will happen. When you accept and approve, it will take you right to the payment stage of the order. If you haven't added your credit card information to the account button up top, um, where it says, oh, actually, it's, nothing's changing there. Everything's froze. Oh, there we go. So at the account button up top, you can add your credit card information to the billing or credits information area. But um, if you haven't, you can add it directly to the order itself. Add in any um, promotional codes that you may have. And when you add it and click apply, it will come right off of the balance due. And then just submit your order. You will receive a thank you email letting you know it was completed. If you do not receive a thank you email immediately after it, um, you submitting your order, your order did not submit. If you ever work on an item and you have to stop for whatever reason to get back to it, Come to orders up top, select recently edited, and this will show you each and every card that you've worked on. We just scroll through. You can click the edit icon to the right of the one that you would like to continue, and it will take you to the last um, to the last saved page. So that's the core fact lead capture system in a nutshell, you guys. I do have to sign off. I don't have any new questions in there. But hopefully this sheds some light on what you could expect. And um, hopefully it makes you want to try us out, right? You, hopefully, you know, we have some benefits there that you may not have seen elsewhere. And again, we are here. We're available to help you as much as we can. We understand it's all done online, but we have marketing specialists who can do it for you. If you need strategy, you're trying to figure out the best approach, that's what we help you with on the sales team. And other than that, um, I look forward to working with you. Have a fabulous rest of your day and the rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.